So this is the second part about the sequence alignments. And here we'll discuss two topics in this lecture. First lecture is about how to do faster alignments and not only use uh, the rather slow dynamic programming algorithms. This is obtained by, by doing using heuristic algorithms that are not guaranteed to find optimal alignment but are significantly faster. And the most popular one nowadays is called BLAST, but uh, I will also illustrate FAST A, which is an earlier method and it's slightly easier to describe. There are also a number of updates to BLAST to make it faster, but BLAST is very, very fundamental to a very large part of bioinformatics. And uh, so it's very important to understand it. The second part is actually, I will discuss is actually how to uh, obtain uh, you know, use alignments for searching databases. So basically, when do we know that alignment really fine to homologous proteins. So first, when you describe a computation algorithm, you often discuss the, the time complexity. So, um, a dynamic programming algorithm take, takes something times uh, related to the time length of the sequence and the length of the other sequence. So it, is, it has an auto n times n. Uh, this is for aligning two sequences, so say there are 1,000 residues each, it's 1 million calculations, which is not very uh, slow, it takes about 1,000 of a second maybe. Because uh, you have 1 million calculations, is when you do 1 billion calculations per second on a computer, or a bit more. Uh, however, if you want to co can compare it, a sequence to 10 for only one million sequences, that means that it will take 1,000 seconds in that order, which is 20 minutes. That is maybe okay, but if you want to compare 1,000 se or million sequences against each other, that would be a million times longer than that, and that would not be feasible. So however, you need to so be as a need to faster average. To do that, you basically do something that avoids the need to find the optimal solution and I will discuss two areas here, fast and blast. They're both based on the same idea and they are not perfect but they find a good solution in this amount of time and they might be the only practical point of view. So this is the general view of So they are more or less instead of scaring us um, uh, well, they, they can be maybe linear in sequence of phases instead of being quadratic. So the whole idea is basically that what we're doing with an alignment is that we're finding matrix diagonals. We want to find diagonal lines. And of course, most of the, of, the, of, of the matrix we're looking at do not contain any interesting information. So we should only, if we could identify potential diagonals that are the most likely to contain the optimal alignment, and they could ignore the rest of it, it would save a lot of computational time. 